this video will have a copious amount of fucks. So if you're easily offended, don't like profanity, go the fuck away. If you're still here, let's jump into this. I'm going to give you a few reasons why you should unsubscribe from uh, my channel. I'm running a social experiment, which I will let go to its conclusion. But some things popped out to me that really let me know that I have fallen asleep at the wheel. 2009, someone told me about month seven on YouTube that I should stop cussing. Every year I get this conversation. Every year someone comes in, Glendon, your channel would be fucking better. Remember, count the number of fucks. There's a deal for the person that gets the correct number of fucks that are in this video. I'm going to give you something. Actually, I'll tell you. I'm going to give you a t-shirt. So the first person that gets the correct number of fucks that are in this video will get a t-shirt. Moving on. And they'll say it. I'm not telling you how to run your channel, but it would be better if you didn't use so much fucking profanity. And I didn't listen clearly. I'm going to show you a little graphic here. See, that's when this happened. That's where I was on YouTube when this happened. This is where I'm at now. Now, this is not overly impressive. Uh, there are many YouTubers way past this. But for this particular niche that I, well, for the niche I was in, because I'm moving to another niche, these are pretty good numbers. These are pretty good numbers. Because this is the thing. I am who I am. You don't like that? You need to fucking unsubscribe. You don't like my viewpoints? You need to fucking unsubscribe. Because this is the thing that really cracks me up. People want to have a conversation. They want me to be fair. They want me to be equitable. And they will not give me the same consideration that they want from me. There's some of you out there. I know who you are. I've seen your Facebook pages. We're friends on Facebook. We talk. And you have been the same person that you were in 2009, 2010. There's a new crop here. And just for the new people who are here, um, this may be a little abrupt because you didn't see this. Because this channel has been seriously toned down. This is nothing. The video that I put up yesterday, that is nothing. Because I will say this right now, and you might want to unsubscribe, that if you think going $100,000 into debt to get a degree that will enable you to work at Starbucks, you're a fucking idiot. Yes, if that's what you think, if you think people go to school to cultivate and self-enlighten themselves to the tune of $50,000, $150,000, $200,000 worth of debt, you're a fucking idiot. Most people go to school to get skills to earn more money. This isn't me. This isn't my opinion. This is fact. And I look at that because a lot of things that I put on, on YouTube are my opinion. A lot of stuff I put on YouTube is fact. And when the facts are something that you don't like, people start going, well, you know, it's just a difference of opinion. This is really going to make you unsubscribe. There are some people whose opinions are better than yours. You have the right to have an opinion. Everyone has the right to have an opinion. Everyone has the right to free speech. It's guaranteed by the United States Constitution. But there are some people, when they speak, they make no sense. They sound stupid as fuck. And they're dumb. That's offensive. If you're offended, that button, hit unsubscribe. See ya. Because I am totally, I'm bringing this channel back. You know, I, I went through some changes. And I noticed that the namby pambiness is starting to emerge again. I'm starting to get all of these weak, slack jawed little bitches coming in saying, well, you shouldn't speak that way. Let me tell you something. 
If I can say something in a video, I don't know you, I never saw you, never had a conversation with you, but if I can say something in a video that you know not to be true in your life and it rocks your world, apparently I struck a nerve because there's something wrong. And I've modulated my message on uh, school. Now, I believe in education, but many people are so short-sighted to say the only way you can get education is to go to college. If you don't have the college-level education, then for many people, you're not a successful person in life. I think that's bullshit. I think that is other bullshit. And due to the nature of this thought process, we have what's called a student loan bubble. You have people whose student loan payments are higher than their mortgage, rent, and car payment and will be for many years to come. That's untenable when many people can't get jobs to service that debt. That's why the student loan thing is going to be the next thing because people are not earning enough money to pay the debt. That's why I say it's foolish. If you have the money in the bank and you want to go do basket weaving 105, Go at it. You're not getting in debt. It's your money. You earned it. Do what you want. I believe in free will. But to fucking borrow that much money to get a degree that will not serve you financially is fucking stupid. It is fucking stupid. It is insane. And it goes to something that's deeper. The lack of critical thinking skills. I dropped out of school. I was thinking about going back. But you know what I did before I did that? I took sheets of paper, pen, and I sat down and wrote, did research, <clears throat> and I did this for a long time. And the numbers said for me, the numbers may say something different for you, but the numbers said, don't do it. I kept looking at it, it's just like, this didn't, and if I had went back to school, because the plan was to finish undergrad and get an MBA, I had schools chosen now, and at the time it would only cost me 28 grand. Many of you who are in college right now are paying 15 to 20 for one year in undergrad right now or more. That was the total cost for everything. But there was another cost. Time. Lost income. These are things that you have to factor because if you're going to go to a rigorous program, you might not be able to work. So when you start adding all that, lost income, lost wages, I mean lost income, lost time in the workforce, because right now, everything is totally, totally changed. Used to be a certain thing you had to do to get a certain job. All the rules have been rewritten. All of them. Yet people are still clinging to a comfortable, socially sanctioned norm. But back to my on point message. Why you should fucking unsubscribe from this fucking channel. If you're weak, fucking unsubscribe. If you're a stupid little bitch, fucking unsubscribe. If you, for some reason, think the world is fair, you need to fucking unsubscribe. And the reasons are simple. The things I will say on this channel, the things that you will hear, will drive you nuts. You will not be able to think. You will go away pissed off. And you will exercise that power, that, that strong fist, and you'll move it to the keyboard, and you'll hit dislike. Do you know... For those of you who are new, I've had people that actually went ahead and created fake YouTube channels to harass the people who supported me in the comments. They did all types of versions of Glendon 007 and went around and attacked people. I've had people flag all kinds of videos. I've, so many cr crazy things have happened here on, in the last four and a half, four years going on five years. And that's another thing. When I say that, you know, people just ignore it. It's like, well, I've been on YouTube for years. I know what a troll is. You don't know. Let me tell you how you identify a troll. First of all, going back to if you're a happy person. I'll give you the doo-doo example, the dog shit example. You're walking on the street. There is this copious amount of dog shit. It's right there. In the grass next to the sidewalk. You're walking. You see it. Do you get on your cell phone and tweet that? Do you put it on your Facebook page? Do you like call 911? 
I like to report a copious amount of dog shit. No, you walk on by. Dog shit's patently offensive. It is. But it's not really on your radar. You're just like, man, people need to curb their dogs and you move on. But if you stay there and you start extracting samples to send to the forensic lab to study what type of dog this came from, you might be a little touched. And that's what some people are on YouTube. I have a social media policy. You can disagree with me. But when you start going all crazy, personal attacks, and I attack back and then you turn into a little bitch, you will be blocked. And some people don't like that. You know why? Because they feel that it's the right to say whatever they want to anyone and someone that's listened to it. Doesn't work like that. See, freedom of speech operates like this. Public assembly, you can say what you want. But when you're operating on a private platform, things get a little dicey. Uh, YouTube allows a lot of stuff because it's in their best interest. When it is not in their best interest, they will shut down your account. And actually, this is going on right now. People who are like super over the top, conspiracy theory, uh, angry people all the time. A lot of their channels are getting shut down. This is happening right now because it's not in YouTube's best interest. Uh, people who go out and attack folks all the time who do attack videos, their channels are getting shut down. Oh, uh, this was one guy that was going after this girl hard. And he knew what he was doing, he just didn't give a fuck. And he just kept going on and on and on and on. So, understand, when I say that I've been here for a while, it's not that, oh, I'm smarty. No, it's like if you don't do YouTube, there's a lot of things you don't fucking understand about YouTube. There's a lot of things you have no clue about. Like, the information you get. When I get someone who's leaving several comments across several different videos and I go to my Gmail account, because whenever you subscribe, I get an email and I go to my Gmail account. It's like this person never subscribed. Troll. Why would you go across several videos, leave comments and usually negative? Because the thing is, the people that leave positive comments, they actually subscribe. The people who want to troll, they don't subscribe. It's common because they want attention or just go to some channel where everything's negative. If someone leaves like a really crazy, wild ass comment, go to their channel. Seven times out of ten, that's what they do to everyone. If they don't hide their viewing history, which is another sign of a troll. People who hide their viewing history because a lot of folks don't even know how to do that. This is what trolls do because then people start to come after them. Oh, God, you stupid motherfucker. And that would count as a fuck if you're keeping count. So understand, you need to fucking unsubscribe because I am going to get more real, more raw. The, the profanity is pretty much going to stay the same. You know, sometimes I cuss, sometimes I don't. It just really depends. I don't try to do it. It's a situational, occupational thing. But if you're that offended, fucking unsubscribe. And the reason I'm doing this video and I'm saying this to you is why would you want to be subscribed to someone that you don't agree with, you think is crazy, you think uses too much profanity? Why stay subscribed? I'm going to give you an answer. I'm going to give you an answer. This happens frequently. Uh, this happened actually the other day, but I'll tell you a really interesting case. There was someone on social media that was talking about Glendon is full of himself. He was on a Google Plus talking to another dumbass. And yeah, I unsubscribed. Well, six days later, in my inbox, that person resubscribed to my channel. And I, I actually went into one of my Facebook groups and I, I did the screenshots and everything and posted it up there because shit was funny as hell. That happens frequently. People are like, I can't stand that fucking Glendon Cameron. <gasps> Unsubscribe. And they go away. Cool. Fine. We don't, we're not fit for each other. But like a boomerang, they come back. You want to know why? You may not like me. You may not be able to stand the shit that I say but you fucking respect my opinion. 
Because logically, it makes no sense for you to go away and come back and go away and come back and go away and come back like some broken hearted little girl. You like my opinion. You like the commentary. You like the advice. And you like the fact that I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. I really don't. I let that shit go years ago because regardless of what you do, how you do it, some people will like you. Some people will not. I have videos up here that were full of what I thought to be great content. No one lied because someone didn't like me. They're like, just like this. That's it. This like hit the dish. This, 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 this. Now, another thing about YouTube. <clears throat> There are cycles, and this is another cycle. There was one at the beginning of the year. There was one last year. There's cycles where it goes up and down, up and down. And then there are people of lesser integrity who are just pussy-faced little bitches that when this shit starts, they're like, I'm leaving YouTube. I can't deal with it. See, this is my thing. In the video that I put up the other day where I showed you I was living in a fucking boarding house and I was fucking homeless and I was fucking ass out and I fucking made a lot of bad fucking decisions. I ended up in a very bad place. I took ownership of my mistakes. It made me a much tougher person. So tough that I understand that right now there are many of you instead of taking my advice and fucking unsubscribe, you're going to hit the dislike button and you're going to hang around. And what you're going to do is the next 10, 15, 20, however many videos I put up, you're just going to hit dislike immediately to get me back for fucking offending your weak ass. That's what you're going to do. Now, let me tell you something else you're doing. While you're doing that, you're actually giving me views. You, you, if you don't even watch the video and you hit the dislike button, that still counts as a view. You cannot get at me without helping me, which is really funny because every time this shit happens, my sales go through the roof because what I do is I bring out the real people. I bring out the folks who are like, you know what? I'm ready to make a change. I'm ready to do something different. I am ready to stop living life the way that I currently am living life. This channel is not for everybody. Uh, I was actually going to name other channel not fit for human consumption because I know I have a very polarizing methodology. People either really like me or people really hate me. I can deal with it because I don't need to be loved by everyone. That whole everybody needs. No, that shit's not going to work. And I learned that out. I learned that when I wasn't this way. It was extremely nice, uh, extremely, you know, everyone's friend and still had haters. <laughs> I remember one in particular that I saw about two months ago who just it was just crazy. It was just crazy. So this is the thing. These are the rules. You know, this is the channel that Google allows me to have because that's really it's not my channel. It's on their platform. It's on their server. So. I can do only so much, but while I have the ability to run this channel pretty much as I see fit, long as I don't show, you know, child pornography, uh, bunnies being massacred, even though one of the biggest videos is this bunny that gets swooped up by an eagle, I can pretty much do what I want, which includes that you could disagree with me. That's cool. But when you get to a certain point where it's getting out of hand, block and a lot of people don't like that you know why because you feel powerless and it's funny because i don't dislike videos i don't go to people's channels to dislike their videos if i don't like the vi i'm like i don't watch it it's like yeah this isn't for me and i move on but if you're disliking videos and you will dislike this video versus fucking unsubscribe because you're a weak stupid little bitch my question to you is why why hang around? Are you like that guy that keeps chasing that girl that says no? She said no in the first grade. She said no in the 12th grade. She said no at 30. She said no at 40. But for some reason, you think that she's going to get it when really you should have moved the fuck on. Are you that girl for some reason that think guys should just treat you super special because you're a girl, even though you haven't done nothing to deserve it? 
If you're one of those people, get the fuck on. Please unsubscribe. Move the fuck on because you're too stupid to absorb the information of this channel. Now, this is really, really radical here. And once again, say what you want. I'm just going to see how many people are actually going to say fuck Glendon Cameron and move the fuck on. Or the number of people who are going to go in the comment section and try to tell me where I'm wrong. Because why would you care? Why would you care? Why would you care? Because I can do this. I've done way worse. <laughs> I've done so much worse. And the channel continues to grow. It still grows. <clears throat> because people crave authenticity. There are so many people who are politically correct that they, you don't know where they're coming from. You, you have no idea what their thought process is. You don't even know who you're talking to sometimes. People crave authenticity. They crave something that's someone that's going to tell them straight. Because, you know, I did a video. The reason you're not successful is because you don't give a fuck. Success is not some mythical, magical process. It is as follows. Come up with a plan. Take action. Learn from your mistakes. Keep going. That's success. That's it. But people are looking like for that extra uh, special, majestical, mythical moment that's just like, bam, it just happens. You keep working hard. You keep learning from your mistakes and you keep moving on and you don't give up. You'll be successful. It's that simple. But people are looking for magic jelly beans. People are looking for shortcuts. They're looking for someone to hold their little dick while they piss. Because they don't want to be, they don't want to do the heavy work. They don't want to read boring ass books and gain knowledge. They want it to be entertaining. They want it to be so nice, so wonderful, so easy. Now, success may not be mentally a mental exercise in a genius, but it is a serious mental exercise in perseverance, tenacity. And keeping it together while shit's falling apart. That right there gets a little interesting. So hopefully you take my advice and fucking unsubscribe from this channel. And I know you want. And the reason I know you won't. And the reason I know what's going to happen. Is psychology. I can put up a video. With no profanity. Excellent content. There will be the group of people. They will appreciate it because I do have a group of loyal viewers that have been with me through thick and thin and will continue to be with me. So I'm really grateful for those folks. I'm thankful for those folks. They would get those videos. But for the mentally deficient, for the stupid motherfuckers, for the dumbasses, for the wimpy, for the overly sensitive, politically correct little bitches, they will lose their fucking mind. And they will go, it's unfair. You should let me do this. And you should let me do this. And you should let... And then, after a period of time of hate, and understand, I had people on my ass like you've never had anyone on your ass. I mean, it was damn near creepy. It goes away. It stops. New, new sun rises, new day happens, and it goes away. I expect, let me, let me see, this will last. I'm not going to put a number on I don't know how long this is going to last. But it'll last for, you know, a little while. And then it'll go away. And then we'll do other stuff. You see, what you dumb motherfuckers don't understand is how YouTube operates. When I put up a video, subscribers find it. If it arcs through YouTube's system, then other people will find it. But typically, 99.8% of the people who find me find me through my older videos. So while I'm sitting here saying you're a dumb motherfucker, you're stupid as fuck, there's a new group of people who are coming in as we speak. They'll never even see this video. They'll like, okay, uh, I don't want to watch that. Or they'll watch something else or they'll watch certain ones. Or they'll... So there's only a handful of people who are going to see this video. That's one of the reasons I make so many. You put up a video and think that, you know, oh, you know, the world's going to see it. Nope. Your biggest problem online is discoverability. It's your biggest issue. You can have a crappy product, but if a lot of people discover it, you can make a million dollars. You can have the best product in the world. No one discovers it, you make squat. 
So that, that's why I'm doing this. This this is part of the learning process of YouTube because there was uh, some stuff that went down in 2011 that was very unsavory. And a lot of people like, damn, that was really fucked up that what hap that happened to you. There's some other shit that happened that was real fucked up. And this is the thing. I wasn't really doing anything. There were some people who were just dumbasses for the sake of, yeah, they're just dumbasses. And they couldn't understand why this channel works. I'm going to tell you why this channel works. I started it and I kept going. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's the secret sauce. That's the recipe. That's the magic jelly beans. I started it and I kept going. That's it. Oh, I uh, did a lot of research. That was another part. Because what I've learned is what's happening right now is a snapshot. It's just a snapshot. It's just a moment in time. This video is not going to go viral. It's not going to go around forever and ever. It'll be up for a while and a few hundred people will see it. And then, you know, the long tail pops in. Then, you know, one or two per month may see it. Because I know my metrics. I know how my channel works. That's why I am making this video. And hopefully I can refer to it in the future when someone says, hey, Glendon, you should do this. And hey, Glendon, you should do that. And Glendon, you should. Fuck you. Are you offended? I hope so. Offended enough to hit the unsubscribe button and get the fuck on with your sorry lazy ass. Yes, I said that to you. Because if these things that I say deeply offend you to the point that you will not comment on a video with salient knowledge, good information, but you will comment on some bullshit, you are the person that I don't need on this channel. Because that's what you're about. You are attracted to bullshit because you are bullshit. Yes, I said that to you. Because it's true. It's true. That's what you want. You don't want good information. You want bullshit because that gets your motor running. That gets your, 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 your estrogen and your testosterone flowing because that's what you operate on. You operate on that parameter of bullshit because anything that's not bullshit is kind of boring to you. Kind of puts you to sleep, like reading a book, watching a documentary, or listening to a podcast about, you know, reach and discoverability. That's boring to you, but some bullshit. How fucking dare Glendon tell me to fucking unsubscribe from his channel? I'm an American. I can do what the fuck I want. How dare that motherfucker tell me this shit? On being offended. I'm going to, hold on, hold on. I'm going to throw down the race car. Most of you don't go through the racial bullshit that I go through. I delete a lot of shit. Hey, nigger, get the fuck off YouTube. You big monkey, shut the fuck up. You know what I do? I see it in my inbox. I giggle. I go and block the person. I delete it and I move the fuck on. One person is not going to fuck up my day. Two people are not going to fuck up my day. Three people are not going to fuck up my day. Why? What did I just tell you? There's cycles. It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. If you don't toughen the fuck up, you're not going to make it. If a video gets you to the point that you are losing your fucking mind, creating fake accounts, <laughs> that shit is crazy. Creating fake sock pocket Sock, sock puppet accounts to go ahead and leave comments to support your that shit is funny as hell I'll, I'll tell you how you can find this out when you go to a YouTube channel if they don't hide it for some reason some people are hiding their start date because you know in Trollville and there's troll forums on how to troll it used to be you couldn't hide that like the day that you join YouTube you go to the about tab bam and there's so many people who were like with the trolling, the very day that they left their comment is the day that channel was created. How funny is that? Excuse me. How fucking funny is that? This shit is funny. And the reason that I endure it because in a strange way, it's fun to me. It's almost like a game of chess. Here's their move. Here's my move. Here's their move. 
But see, the thing is, there's really no profit in that type of bullshit. There's no profit in that fuckery because I do this stuff. I get a little coin from YouTube. I get leads from my other products. It works for me. Good commentary, bad commentary, bullshit. It works for me. It still keeps the G-verse going. What do you get out of it? An emotional high for telling someone off that you don't know, that you'll never see, that really has no impact on your life one way or another. It's kind of sad, kind of lonely as you cry into your milk. So take my advice and fucking unsubscribe from this channel. Do it today. Move the fuck on, you weak little bitch. Because if the things that I said in this video offended you, pissed you off, made you angry, you are one of the weakest people on the planet. What I say in regard to this stuff shouldn't phase you one way or another. You should be stronger than that. But I know many of you aren't. I know many of you are. But there's a lot of you that will unsubscribe when you see this video and move the fuck on. And do both of us a favor. Because when I started the Hustler Mindset Project, I put out that I would rather have 300 people who were strong as fuck than a thousand weak ass dumbasses. And I mean that. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that because, see, this is the thing. You become like the people you hang with the most. So if I've got an influx of weak, dumbass, stupid ass people, that's what this channel will be, you know. And for the most part, there's a lot of strong, aggressive, go-getters, hustler people who subscribe to this channel. I want those people. I don't want the people who are, I'm just thinking about hustling. <sighs> no, that's too hard. Hot pocket. You know, those people. I, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Because they're not going to do shit. Like in the movie Collateral where Tom Cruise told Jamie Foxx, what's the lease on the fucking limo? 425 a month? You never were fucking going to do it. You think you were going to do it and you say it in company because it sounds nice. But you were never fucking going to do it because you don't take yourself that serious. You don't think that you are that good or that important. So you just aimlessly move the fuck on through life. Yeah. So if you're offended by that, pushing buttons because it's true in your mind. See, I'll never know this. I'll never see you throw your computer or your phone down every you watch the video. I'll never see that shit. I'll just see... <sighs> the the commentary, the craziness, and it, it it's just funny. It's just funny. So that's all I have to say. Hopefully that you will unsubscribe from this channel and get the fuck on and go on with your merry life, because we're not fit for each other. If these things that I say do irritate you, irk you, piss you off, or make you lose your fucking mind, we're just not a good fit. Move the fuck on. It's not me. It's not you. It's me. It's not you. It's me. I'm. T it's not you. It's me. You know, we had a good run. Things were going well, but that time has run out. You should go away. It's not that I hate you, but um, I just don't need you. And you don't need me. So let's end this. Shake hands and part ways. That's what we should do. All right, for those of you who stayed around and who are still strong, go ahead. It's a real contest. <laughs> Whoever guesses the number of fucks correctly, the first person who, correct, who correctly guesses the number of fucks in this video, uh, I'm going to give you the Hustler Mindset Project t-shirt. So that's out there for whoever correct, correctly guesses the correct number of fucks in this video. So we'll see what happens. All right, this is Glendon Cameron, and I'll see you on the good side.